Oh yeah? Right, we're off. We're off again and we're going to Gibraltar Farm. I'm really looking forward to going here. It's right near Leighton Moss RSPB Centre. We have a little village called Silverdale. So I've been looking forward to going here. I'll give you the details when we get there, eh? As you can see, the sun doesn't always shine on the righteous. Got a bit of a drizzly day today. We had a few nice days. I managed to get some filming done of the site and a nice walk. Beautiful walks around here. Absolutely fantastic for walking. And uh, obviously you've got Leighton Moss Birding Reserve over there. So great for naturalists and bird watchers alike. So I'll give you a little walk around the site. In the woodlands at the moment, it's a nice woodland there. Come here, Raven. Where is he? Raven. In the woodlands at the moment, there's a woodland on site, about 10 acre woodland apparently. And uh, just going for a little bimble. But uh, yeah, take you for a look around the site when it's actually sunny for a change. And the uh, sunsets here over Morecambe Bay are absolutely fantastic. Really, really beautiful. But let's take you and have a look around the site, eh? When there's a bit of sun. Right, here we are. Gibraltar Farm. Been wanting to come here for flipping ages. It's in Lancashire. Right near Silverdale, there you go. On the search for sites. If you've got search for sites, brilliant app that is. And uh, that sign is what you see at the entrance. It's a big long entrance road and it's a working farm. We've got cattle there and sheep. There's the other page from Search for Sites. Tells you everything. Just pause that if you want to have a proper look at that. So now you'll go down to the end of that little track and bear left. It takes you left here. And then you'll see the actual entrance to the site. Come through those gates, and here we go. Look at that. It's absolutely mint here. The owner is nice, and the wardens are absolutely fantastic. There we go, see the stewards on the site. First, So that tells you all the details of where you've got to go. There's sanitizer everywhere still, which is good, which is good. As you can see, the grass and everything is cut to perfection all the time. So you come around this bit of a hairpin bend here, and you can see over the back there, there's a little secluded bit in the woodland with caravans on it, you get in there. And here's our mate cutting the grass with the old strimmer there, look, he's been strimming this morning. And they've got two wardens who are absolutely fantastic. A guy that cuts the grass and a maintenance man. So look, there we go. There's a lot of there's a lot of um, seasonal pitches on the site, and each pitch has got its own facilities on it. So it's got its own water tap and your electric. These are all the hard standings, they're all hard standings here. They're fairly flat, you might need a chock. I just chopped up one side of my van to get the water going out. Down a plug hole. And this is where you stop to book in. You'll have his little golf buggy there. So you can book in with Steve and he tells you all about the site. Which is very handy on arrival. So if you see right in front of you there, there is a caravan and that's the Walden's caravan. It's got stewards outside of it, so you know where you've got to go to see them. Let's take you over the facilities. The facilities are right in front of you there and I'll show you those right now. So there's a boot and dog wash, laundry and pot wash and the showers. 
This is the laundry area, I've just used that. £6.50 for a massive load of washing and that's also including your drying which is flipping cheap as chips, really good. There's also a sink in there for washing. Don't put your dog in it, it looks like someone's put their dog in there. I've had to put a sign up. Unbelievable, some people. That's the black waste, your Elson Point. A nice long hose. That's what we like, a nice long hose. So you can wash your cassette out really nicely. And in here is the poshest dishwashing area I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. Solid beach work surfaces. Four sinks to do your washing up in. And there's a fridge in there you can use also. So this bit here is where you can rinse your dog off after being down on the bay and uh, rinse your boots off. And that's your grey water disposal if you've got a caravan. Let's take you in the toilets. There you go. Toilets are cleaned twice a day. There's campsite etiquette there, which you need to adhere to. If you have a look there, and pause that and have a read. Here's the gents' toilets. Look at that. These Waldens keep these absolutely sparkling. It's one of the nicest toilet and shower facilities I've been in. Now this is a nice big disabled toilet you can get into. You've got traps all down one side and showers down the other side. One of them on the end is like a family room which is also really suitable for if you're disabled and you want to get in there easy. Now Sammy went and had a video in the females toilet so I'll show you around them now. And these are the ladies, just as good, absolutely spotless toilets down one side big disabled toilet there looks huge loads of basins hot water in here is lovely that's the family room there there's one in the ladies as well and there's your showers down there look you can see Sammy in the mirror so you know it ain't me <laughs> let's get back out on the site look at that unit that looks like it's just about to take off so there's hard standing pitches all around. You could book and pay if you phone up. Speak to, I believe it's Emma or Amy. That actually uh, owns and runs the site. And that's us there. There's old Gladys there. So there's another couple of fields here. I'll show you in a second. Go down there, right in front of you, as you can see, is Balkan Bay. You can walk right away down that track, which I'll take you down later. And it takes you down a little shingle beach. It's really nice. And these are fields for the tents and small camper vans. Dog poo bins everywhere, and there's some water. Right over there is a woodland, which That's I'll show you now. Right there. You've got this field here. I believe this is camping also. Yeah, it is camping as well. This is tents. And then you've got this little area here, which is absolutely stunning. This is for private groups. You can book this as a group. Dog poo bins everywhere. No fires on site, as I said. But look at that. What a beautiful little spot. And there's a cave just through them woods. And also a pagan stone circle. Fantastic. It's nice in there, isn't it? So there's no fires on site, and your dogs must be kept under close control at all times, not let off the leads. Here's your other camping field with the small vans and tents. I watched a video for some van lifers the other day, and they went on a site, and they had their dog running around, and they went, oh, we're gonna have a nice fire now. Quite clearly it states, no open fires and keep your dogs on the leads. So don't let the side down for everyone else. It just mucks it up for all us lot. Anyway, there's your standpipe and your electric cable where you can plug in. Always unravel your cable, I will still catch fire. And here we're gonna go over to 
to Gladys. That's really nice sight, isn't it? All hard standing, not that little pea shingly stuff and little gravelly bits that get in your van. Which is really annoying. And uh, let's take you in here and then we're going to take you for a walk. Let's have a look at this. Lovely, lovely walk here. Beautiful, all for the woodlands on the site. Literally just outside the campsite is this, the Wolf House. It's a little calf. Does tea, cakes, coffees and some snacks and food. And I had this smoked haddock chowder. It was flipping lovely. Right, this is through the back of the site, which takes you down onto Morecambe Bay, onto like a little beach. And I took Raven down there. There we go. There's the boy. And a little sniff about. Looking for the crabs. 
great down there, the tide's in. Look at that. Pebbly beach. Absolutely flipping beautiful. It was so warm and peaceful and quiet down here. It was lovely. Right, do you know what this is? Have a guess. And there you go. Lovely sight, eh? You take care, stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.